Sean, in recent years, the so-called debate between science and religion has gone up several decibels on both sides of the equation. And uh, it seems to me, and I've been interested in this issue for a long time, that religion certainly has to talk to science because they have to know how the world works if even they want to come up with some overarching theories. But should science even have to talk to religion? My personal view is that science, that religion does need to talk to science. Science does not need to talk to religion. And the reason why is because science is right and religion is not right. And I say that as someone who is very willing to admit that, you know, a thousand years ago, I probably would have been a theologian myself. That was the right way to approach big questions of meaning and how the universe works. But in the last 500 years, since the scientific revolution, we've learned a lot through science about how nature works. And we've learned enough to say that God and spirituality don't play a role in how the universe works. So science uh, can offer things to anyone who wants to know more about nature at a very deep level, and that includes religious people. But I don't think that science is going to learn anything by talking to religion. Okay, so uh, some people would argue that science certainly does not have to talk to religion about anything that science does. I don't think very many, relig even religious people, would say that today. Uh, that science should do its own work in its own way and have nothing to do with religion. Yet for science to understand things that are not in the domain of science, such as the big why questions, uh, why is there any existence at all? Uh, why did the universe come about? Uh, questions of morality. That in those areas, science is absolutely silent or should be silent, is, can never convert to ought. Uh, and therefore, in those areas, religion has a role to play, a significant role to play in parallel. Yeah, I think there's many issues going on here. I completely agree that is can never lead to ought. You cannot go from science, which describes what happens in the world, to morality or to ethics, which makes choices about what should happen in the world. Now, that doesn't mean there's two corollaries that you might be tempted to draw, both of which I think are false. One is that, therefore, we should turn to religion to address questions of ethics and morality. Or number two, ethics and morality are simply impossible in a world without God or anything like that. Uh, I don't think that religion is of any help to ethics and morality because religion starts with a certain understanding of how the world works, an understanding which I don't think is right. So religion gets credit for addressing questions of meaning, but there's no justification for the choice that it makes. No antecedent on which it is based. There's no reason why to say that a religious understanding of a certain question gives us the right answer. It, it, it attempts to answer the question, which is great. I think that it's important for human beings to address questions of purpose meaning, ethics, morality. And I would completely agree that secular reason broadly construed has kind of dropped the ball on those questions. That it used to be that religion both helped us to understand how right. the world works right. and get, gave us a bigger context in which to talk about meaning. Science has removed the need to appeal to religion where it comes to the world. So that leaves us saying, well, what about all those other questions. But I think that since the rug has been pulled out from underneath religious belief, science has to help out other projects within secular reason to attack these harder problems. Science attacks the easy problems. What happens in the world? What can we see with our microscopes and telescopes? When you ask what should happen, why should I care about what happens? These are harder problems to answer. But right? are those in the domain of science? Can They're scientific the reasoning, of... scientific method, experiment, theory, corroboration, that approach, that whole approach, can that even approach the kinds of questions that deal with morality or meaning or purpose? Science cannot answer the questions of morality, meaning, or purpose. But science will and has to provide the correct framework in which to ask them and answer them. If you start with an incorrect view of how the world <laughs> works, you will get incorrect answers to questions of, of meaning and morality. And I think this is not just abstract nonsense either. I think this is very, very direct. If you want to know, should abortion be legal? Should gay marriage be legal? You better start with the right view of how the world works, or I think you'll get the wrong answer answer.
That doesn't mean that you look at the world and instantly fall into the naturalistic fallacy and say that how the world is tells us what should be right. In fact, it tells us the opposite. It tells us that everywhere we look in the world, whether it's to the physical world, the observable world, or to some supernatural realm, nowhere will we ever find the answer to how we should behave, what is the meaning of it all. What science You're calling that a naturalistic us, fallacy. That's right. The, well, the naturalistic fallacy would be to say, look, I see the world is a certain way. The right thing to do is to make it more that way. Human beings reason, therefore the right thing to do is for human beings to reason. Usually there are men and women coupling up, therefore the right thing to do is for that to happen. That's the naturalistic fallacy. But science tells us that the world doesn't have meaning already there. That doesn't mean that we give up. That means that meaning is something left for us to create. The move from religion to science is the move from paint by numbers, where you have instructions and there are lines and there's a right answer and a wrong answer to a blank canvas. And a blank canvas on which we would like to paint something is a scary concept. There's no guidance from outside, but it is also the beginning of all truly great works of art. Well, aren't you in fact trying to uh, pretend that science can create meaning and purpose because religion had given to that to humanity, and however rightly or wrongly, and that people want it, and science doesn't have it, so science tries to create it, but there's no meaning or purpose to create, and so you're building up your own fallacy. No, I'm saying over and over again, science does not create meaning and purpose. Science tells us that out there in the world, there is no meaning or purpose to be found. But logically, that does not mean there's no meaning or purpose. It means it's not out there in the world. That means that if there is to be meaning and purpose, it is to come from inside us. Not from science, because science doesn't care what's inside us. Science tells us what happens in the world. We create it. It's a fundamentally creative act. It's not an act of discovery. The creation of meaning and purpose is more like telling a story or painting a picture than doing a science experiment.